So that was an insane cut. I'm gonna crank up the SFM to 1,000, and I'm gonna crank up the feed rate from 20 thousandths per revolution to 24 thousandths. I really hope that this works. Today I'm gonna to be doing some test cuts in 4140 using Kenna Metal's new Fix8 tangential turning tool. This is a cool tool. I'm really excited to test this out. This tangential design, the way that the insert is seating on the holder, I'm able to take really big depths of cuts with this tool. So I'm actually gonna be doing some of the biggest depths of cuts that I've ever done on a lathe before. I'm gonna start off on the smaller end with 200 thousandths for the depth of cut. After every pass, I'm gonna increase it by 50 thousandths. And you can see by comparing the CNMG insert that I normally use, there's quite a bit of a size difference between the two. This tool is really well designed for the way that the coolant flows on it. You can see that we have two coolant ports at the bottom of the tool, and then another coolant port pointed directly on the cutting edge. I really wanna take advantage of using coolant on this tool, so I'm actually gonna be using the top spindle on this machine, which our LNS high pressure coolant system is plumbed for. By using the top spindle, I'm able to get 1,000 PSI of coolant pressure on the tool versus the standard 300 PSI. There's gonna be a lot of coolant that's splashing against the cameras and the windows of the machine. So it's gonna be a little hard to see things, but the cuts we're gonna be doing are pretty crazy and it really needs that coolant. So that was our first cut with the tangential tool. 200 SFM, 200 thousandths per side, so 400 thousandths of material being removed all around. Cut came out beautiful. I'm gonna bump up the depth of cut by 50 thousandths. We're gonna take 250 thousandths per side on the next cut. So we took 250 thousandths for the depth of cut just now. Half an inch of material coming off the part at once. That's crazy. This tool can do that all day. I'm gonna bump up the depth of cut by 50 thousandths and we're gonna take 300 thousandths next. So that was 300 thousandths for the depth of cut, 600 thousandths of material being removed at one pass. That's crazy. The chips are coming out super nice. I'm really happy with the cut. I'm gonna take it up now to 350 thousandths per side, same speeds and feeds, and we're gonna see what happens. So that was 350 thousandths per wall. That was wild. I've never done that before on a lathe. I'm gonna take it even deeper now. 400 thousandths per side, depth of cut. 800 thousandths of material being removed at once. Let's see what happens. That was a wild cut. 400 thousandths of material being removed per side, 800 thousandths of material being removed at once in diameter. That's almost an inch of material coming off of this part. That's insane. I'm gonna do one more cut. I'm gonna keep the same depth of cut, the same feed rate, but this time I'm gonna go 800 SFM. So we're gonna run it even faster. So 
that was an insane cut, 800 SFM. I was talking to my dad and he wants me to do one more cut. I wasn't planning on doing it. I'm gonna take one more cut, but I'm gonna crank up the SFM to 1000 and I'm gonna crank up the feed rate from 20 thousandths per revolution to 24 thousandths. That's insane. I'm actually kind of worried if the tool can do it or not. I really hope that this works. That was absolutely insane. The tool zipped across the part. I barely got to hear it cut, but the part looks great. It's got a rough finish, but no chatter. It didn't sound bad cutting. The tool looks great. I could probably do that cut some more. I wouldn't recommend it though. That's a lot of torque that's going on that tool. So you need to make sure that you have the proper setup, proper holders, proper fixturing. I would not try that at home, but that was crazy. I love this tool. I can't wait to use it on other things. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool. And if you like what we're doing and you like what we're about, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.